If you've ever wanted to learn the art of catching flathead, well keep watching. I'm going to do a whole series, a bit of a masterclass if you like, on the locations, the tackle, jigging them up on soft plastics, trolling them up on hard bodies, even using bait, and even some of the behaviours of the flathead we'll cover. And right at the very end, we'll fill it in and cook a couple up with some of my favourite flathead recipes. Look, if you're a beginner, you're going to learn heaps. But if you've been fishing for a fair while and want to learn a bit more about trolling or a bit more about jigging or a bit more about flathead behaviour, there's a lot of myths with flathead. There's a lot to cover, so I'm going to do it in a series. And we're going to start right now with how I go searching for flathead, and that's trolling. You can cover a lot of area quite quickly when you troll a hard body. But if you thought trolling a hard body lure was throwing a lure out the back of the boat, putting the engine into gear and driving, you're kidding yourself. I'm going to show you the art of getting a lure to bounce across the bottom without diving in too hard, still swimming along nicely, and how it works to catch a lot of flathead. So trolling for flathead, it's, you know what, it's a lot harder than what you think. There's a lot in it. And if you ever thought that trolling for flathead was just going to be throwing a lure out, sticking in a rod hole and driving the boat, <laughs> you're so wrong. As you can see here, I'm really busy. I work two rods. I keep busy making sure the height of the rods are right, making sure the lure's bouncing along the bottom. This is why I like jigging. Trolling's hard work. So I am trolling at the moment with the electric motor, but I'm quite happy to troll with the outboard motor running. It doesn't bother the fish too much, but it might bother you guys to hear the rattle of my old two-stroke running while I'm trolling, but the fish really don't mind. I keep lures in quite short as well. So having two lures, I'll have one only about eight or nine meters behind the boat and the other one might be about 20 meters behind the boat sometimes even five meters there's short one i'm fishing in the same spots that i always fish in if you go back to the locations where i like to catch flathead the tide's dropping at the moment there's little weedy edges i'm in a little creek at the moment because it's sunday afternoon and if you've ever been on the gold coast in a sunday afternoon it's busy so i'm keeping away from everybody i'm in a little creek but i'm looking at draining edges I'm looking at weed edges, I'm looking at drop-offs, I'm looking at those little creeks that drain into the main channel at the moment. I'm only in 0.6 metres of water. That's as bad as shallow as I like to troll. I usually like to troll in about 1 to 2 metres of water. 1.5 is perfect. The reason why I do that, it's a really good depth to run the lures at. You see, weed needs sunlight, it can't grow in deep water. So the shallow water that's almost dry at low tide is perfect for weed because it stays wet, but it gets enough sunlight penetrating through that water to allow it to grow, like any other plant, it needs sunlight. So if I'm fishing in a metre of water at the top of the tide, I'm really running my lure through weed beds. But this little location's perfect, and if you have a look around, I've got everything I need. I've got weedy edges, I've got drains, I've got everything. Unfortunately, I've got a northerly blowing, so I'm not expecting a lot of fish this afternoon. When I talk about the behaviours of flathead, I'm going to talk about wind direction. I want to talk to you about how important it is to get that lure bouncing along the bottom. You'll see here I'm mucking around with my rod heights all the time because I want that lure to vibrate as it's close to the bottom, but I want it to hit the bottom every now and again. I don't want it to be plummeting along the bottom, but just swimming and kissing the bottom every now and again. You can see the rod tips here are kicking along. As that lure hits the bottom, it gets a thump in that rod tip. If it hits the bottom too much like it is here, the rod tip is just thumping all the time and not doing much vibrating. I want a bit of a balance. I want it to thump and I want it to vibrate. That can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but you can see here by adjusting the rod heights up and down all the time and keeping busy, I'll get that height just perfect and I will get it to kiss the bottom. If that lure's got any weed on it at all, it's not gonna vibrate. So you have gotta bring it in, clean the weed off it, throw it back out, get that rod tip shaking again. And you'll see my daughter Summer, she knows that rod tip's not shaking anymore. She'll bring that lure in, she'll clean it out. She's a great little flatty troller. She's actually got her two personal best flathead, a 72 centimeter and a 76 centimeter flathead on the troll with little tiny micro mullets. So you can see they work really well and they're great for kids to teach them the art of trolling. Oop, yep, fish on. Yep, oh. <laughs> Just dropped it. That's not good when you're trying to show someone how to catch flathead on the troll. You hook one and you drop it. Come here, champion. Hopefully, I won't drop this one. Oh, he is a nice fish. 
There's a real nice fish. There you go. Hopefully I'll get, it, I'll get that out without injuring him, but uh, nice little fish on the troll. He came out of only a metre of water, so real shallow. But uh, we've made a start. Ooh. Yep, got him. <laughs> yeah, uh, cheeky little bugger. He hit, and he didn't do anything. <laughs> Killed him, hit, then he didn't run. He decided to wake up here. Oh, he's a nice fish. He's a real nice fish. Keep the net pretty handy. He's a great fish. Trolling for flatties. Look at that. That's that's a lovely fish. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? And trolling for flatties is a uh, very productive way, especially if you don't have an electric motor. You can just put along the outboard running. doesn't bother them at all. You can do really well with fish like this. So I'm very happy with that. That's a beautiful fish. Fish on. Fine. Yeah, on your, on your lure. Come on! First cast. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> Want to get the net? <laughs> that's our lunch. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I came back for it. But I ate it twice. Have you been doing that lately? Oh, he is a little fella. Yep, and there's a fish. Oh no, <laughs> I dropped it. Oh, that hurts when I'm trying to do that on video. So the type of lures I like to use is really important as well. They're a small profile lure, ones that dive between one meter and about three meters of depth. The real shallow ones, one I've got on at the moment, dives to only about a meter to a meter and a half. And probably one of the best ones for that is your Zurich Tango Shad. Uh, your micro mullets are a bit of an all-round lure. They've been catching flathead as a trolling lure for years and years and uh, they're a fantastic lure. Only available online now, I do believe, so you'll have to go to the micro mullet website to pick them up. But they're a great all-round lure. They'll swim no problem in a metre of water, but they'll get down to two and even two and a half metres. Another lure I like to use when the water's a little bit deeper is the Tilson Bass. It'll swim between one and a half and two meters of water, no problem, but it has a really good action of it on it. And pink and pink and purple are the two colors in the Tilson Bass that work really, really well. There's a local guy that makes a lure called a pig lure. They're a fantastic lure when you can get hold of them. Once again, I think they're mainly available just on websites. Um, what else do I like to use? Um, tailor-made lures, another lure that's hard to get hold of, but tailor-made lures um, are fantastic. The small profile tailor-made lure can get down to three and three and a half meters, which I really like on those deeper edges. Look, grab a rod, get out there, have a practice, learn the art of trolling. Don't think it's gonna be easy, work hard and you'll catch plenty of fish. So I'll get to it and see how I go.